Christiane, proslavňajme čistoju divu. Pokloním sa jej ikoni, vozdajme slavu. Slava Tvoja, slava, Marije preslavna. O Marije, Mati Boža, molis ja za nas i nas udineli ši nas, jak pride to čas. Slava Tvoja, slava, Marije preslavna, O Marije, Mati Boža, Molis ja za nas, I nas udineli ši nas, Jak pride to čas. All the faithful come before you, Holy Virgin fair, Bowing low before your icon, We your name revere, Glory we give to you, our prayer and pleading here, be our loving intercessor, when our death is near, never abandon your children, keep us free from fear, glory we When our death is near, never abandon your children, keep us free from Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Amen. For peace from high, for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the whole chief of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For his holy church, and for all who tribute faith, reverence, and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our holy father, Francis Pope of Rome, let us pray to the Lord. For our most reverend Bishop Poitain William Ford, the Venerable Presbyter, the Diaconate in Christ, and all clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our government, for all the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this city, for every city committed for a faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. For favorable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captain, for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That we be delivered from all function, wrath, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Protect us, save us, and mercy us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. 
Commemorating most holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit our souls of one another and our whole life to Christ our God. Amen. Lord our God, mighty beyond description, glorious by all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and this holy church of Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, do all glory, honor, worship, now and ever, and forever. Amen. For Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name. Give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and forever. Amen. Only begotten Son, and Word of God, who salvation to become incarnate of a holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and became man without change. You were also crucified O Christ our God, and my death I have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Wisdom be attentive. Let us worship and bow before Christ, O Son of God, risen from the dead. Save us and sing to you. Hallelujah. You have destroyed death by your cross.
For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Let us be attentive, peace be to all, wisdom be attentive. The Lord will give strength to His people, the Lord will bless, will bless His people with peace. Bring to the Lord, the Son of God. Let us be attentive. We beg you not to receive the grace of God in vain, for he says, in an acceptable time I have heard you, on a day of salvation I have helped you. Now is the acceptable time, now is the day of salvation. We avoid giving anyone offense, so that our ministry may not be blamed. On the contrary, in all that we do, we strive to present ourselves as ministers of God, acting with patient endurance amid trials, difficulties, distresses, beatings, <coughs> imprisonments, and riots. As men familiar with hard work, sleepless nights, and fasting, conducting ourselves with innocence, knowledge, and patience in the Holy Spirit, in sincere love, as men with the message of truth and the power of God, wielding the weapons of righteousness with right hand and left, whether honored or dishonored, spoken of well or ill. We are called impostors, yet we are truthful. Nobodies who in fact are well known, yet, yet here we are alive punished but not put to death, sorrowful though we are always rejoicing, poor yet we enrich many. We seem to have nothing, yet everything is ours. <coughs>
Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Let us be attentive. At that time, as Jesus stood by the lake of Genesaret, and the crowd pressed him, pressed in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats moored by the side of the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out, pull out a short distance from the shore. Then remaining seated, he continued to teach the crowds from the boat. When he finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon answered, Master, we have been hard at it all night long and have caught nothing, but if you say so, I will lower the nets. Upon doing this, they caught such a great number of fish that their nets were at the breaking point. They signaled to their mates in the other boat to come and to help. These came, and together they filled the two boats until they nearly sank. At the sight of this, Simon Peter fell at the knees of Jesus, saying, Leave me, Lord, I am a sinful man. For indeed amazement at the catch they had made seized him, all his, seized, him, seized him and all his shipmates, as well as James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. With that they brought their boats to land, left everything, and came and became his followers. Glory to you, o Lord. Glory to you. Glory to Jesus Christ. For the past two weeks, I was, pre I was preparing for a mini-retreat that was held here yesterday, here at our parish. And during the preparation, I found a lot of problems because we live in a modern digital age, and truthfully, I did not find any saint or elder who talks about the digital age and usage of cell phones and internet and how they can be harmful in our lives. So that's why the young adults asked for this retreat so they learn how to maneuver and learn to exist with the technology and still live their full Christian life. 
So during this preparation, I began to ask myself, where are the saints? Or if we put in today's gospel language, where are the fishermen? Where are the guys who are supposed to show us and tell us the way towards God? And I think this is a common response to our problem nowadays because we think that since we don't have saints and the church cannot and church is not modern, it does not have good answers to the modern digital age that we live in. And if you think that, you are thinking wrong. For example, cell phone usage within our life. We might think it is a little innocent device which helps us with our daily tasks, and it does. But that cell phone, but does that cell phone is that cell phone really innocent? Let me give you one point from my yesterday's talk. The more we are involved in technology, the less we are moved by life. And this is one of the seven points I used as an example yesterday. And I remember a long time ago I saw a picture on Facebook where a photographer captured a picture and in the picture, there was a barrier, and there was a crowd of people, probably waiting for uh, some kind of a procession or whatever. And in the middle of the picture, there was one elderly lady who was leaning on a barricade, enjoying her life, enjoying the moment, being in the present. And then there was a crowd around her which were fighting for the best position with their phones. It was like a stillness versus movement kind of picture. It was pretty cool. That lady was living in the moment, making mental memory, while others were trying to capture something they could not. That old lady capture the feeling that she had, and she will remember it for the rest of her life. While those who were trying to take picture, capture that moment, capture that moment with, with a machine which does not have any feeling. Capture the picture which will get lost within two or three days. This example says it all. And I do think we get abused by technology without our knowledge because we are used to it, because we think that somehow this technology will make us better, which it can if it's used properly. The truth is that if the technology is not making us focused more on God, more looking Godward, then the technology is useless and dangerous for our spiritual life. So while I was researching, I found writings of saints which talk about specific spiritual issues that nowadays are caused by phones. And that saint gave a perfect explanation how to treat that passion which was created by the phone. And then later on, I found another saint doing the same thing. Even though they did not live in a modern age, they already had an answer. One little device can create a huge, and dam huge damage in our spiritual life because it touches a huge spectrum of eternal spiritual struggles and problems. And those problems fly under the radar because Society tells us, it's okay, be modern. So now it's normal. So where are the fishermen? Where are the saints? They're here. They're waiting for us to wake up so they can give us an antidote against today's society, against today's world. And I don't remember who printed out the book but the book is called Path to Salvation. 
And the cover of that book is very beautiful. Saint Theophan is holding a book, a gospel book, and he's standing next to the path. And there are some people in the background, some group of people in the background, which are already on that path. And then there are some who are approaching and pointing towards the path. And Saint Theophan is just blessing them, giving them the encouragement, go, take up the cross, learn by the words of God. This is where we are now. We are at the decision making which way we want to go. Do we want to go on the path or not? We cannot get rid of the technology within our life. But what we can do, we can approach these saints and elders and focus on their writings on spiritual life and learn from them on how to use technology in today's digital age and even learn to use technology to sanctify the world around us in a positive way. These saints can guide us to salvation, but we have to choose the path because the, that only path leads to Christ. We have to resist the temptation to have our eyes glued to the screens. The screens won't save our souls. Only Christ can save them. Glory to Jesus Christ. Let us all say with our whole soul, with our whole mind, let us say, Lord, have mercy. O Lord, Almighty God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us according, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis Pope Paul Roman from Mozart Metropolitan William, for those who served and have served this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for our government for all the service of our country. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who await your grand abundant mercy, for those who show us mercy, and for all Christians of the true faith. Lord have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. No one. Let us mystically represent the cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating trinity now set aside now set aside all Cherubim and sing the thrice holy hymn and sing the thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity. Now set us.
May the Lord God remember in his kingdom my Holy Father Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend poet and William, the entire priest of the Acorn Monastic Orders, our government, all in the service of our country, and in every member of the fathers and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember all you Christians of the true faith always, now and ever and forever. precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Grant this through the mercy of only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy, good life, creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. Us love one another that with one mind we that with one mind we may profess Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence, and of the one in wisdom or us be attentive. Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light from light, true God from true God, begotten or made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. He rose on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. And he is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sins. 
I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right, let us stand in all, let us be attentive to offer the Holy Nafra in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us lift up our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship you, and every praise praise your dominion. For you are God, ineffable, conceivable, invisible, comprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same. You and your begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us out, out of our existence into being again, raised us, and we made fallen, and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all that we know and that we do not know. For the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands. Even though there stand before you thousands of archangels, tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six wing many arts roaring aloft on their wings, singing, a shouting, crying aloud, and saying the triumphal hymn. Oh. So cry with these blessed powers, loving kind master, and say, Holy are you and all holy, you and your begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. Holy are you and all holy and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your own begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish, but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan on our behalf. On the night he was betrayed, or rather when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took breath into his holy and all pure immaculate hands. Gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, this is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Remember, therefore, the saving command and all that has come to pass in our behalf the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, and the third day, the ascension to heaven, the sitting at the right hand, a second coming in glory. Offering you your own from your own. Always and everywhere, we praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, we thank you, O Lord, and we pray to you, and we pray to you, our Moreover, we offer the spiritual and, spiritual and unbody sacrifice, and we implore, pray, and treat you. Send down your Holy Spirit upon us, upon these gifts lying before us. And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. I die which is in the shell the precious blood of your Christ, changing them by your Holy Spirit. 
that for those who partake of them may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heaven, the kingdom, and comfort in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer the spiritual sacrifice for those departing in faith to forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just pre to perfection in faith. Especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. It is truly proper to glorify you, O Theotokos, the ever blessed, immaculate, and the Mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare more. Among the first to all remember our Father Francis Pope of Rome, Amos Rev. Metropolitan William, preserve them for your holy truth and peace, safety and honorable health for many years, as they faithfully empower the word of your truth. And remember all your people. And grant that with, my, but, and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honorable magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the precious gifts offering consecrated our God, who loves us all, may receive them this holy heavenly mystical altar as our most spiritual fragrance. And send down upon us in return divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for unity in the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. And make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation dare to call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your Bow your heads to the Lord. Through the grace, the mercies, and loving kindness of your begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us be attentive. Holy gifts to holy people.
I believe and profess that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Holy One, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the highest. Praise him in the highest. Praise him in the highest, the Lord from the heavens. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Approach with fear of God and with faith. Come now, 
out to us, O Christ, welcome we sing. Our hearts are filled with treasure when you enter in. With your divine protection, we are kept from sin. You are the light of life, joy, and happiness. Come now to us, O Christ, each of us blessed. You are the light of life, joy, and happiness. Come now to us, O Christ, each of us blessed. I do believe and profess, O my Lord, you are the true Son of God, who did come down to relieve our distress, bringing salvation to Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith, and we worship the undivided trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God always, now and ever and forever. partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Arise. Now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly life, critic, and awesome mysteries of Christ, let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We thank you, Master, benefactor of our souls, who love us all, that this day you have made us worthy of your heavenly, immortal mysteries. Through the prayers and intercession of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary of all your saints, make straight our path, confirm us all in fear of you, God our life and save God our, save God our steps. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Lord, blessing those who bless you, sanctify those who trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance. Preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, glorify them in return by your divine power, and do not forsake us who hope in you. 
Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the priests, to our government, to all your people. For all generous giving and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from me, the Father of lights. And we give glory, thanksgiving, worship to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through His grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of His host, most pure Mother and of our holy and glorious and luscious apostles, of our holy Father John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople and patron of this church, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good and loves us all. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory to Thank you for beautiful liturgy. Thank you all that you came. Worship our Lord, even though it's a perfect nap weather. So I hope you'll enjoy that day napping. Thank you, Dana, for the new flower wreaths, but especially for the wreath for the exaltation of the cross. It looks, as always, beautiful. Thank you. God bless you. Also, thank you to John and Patty and Melanie for organizing the mystery dinner. I am so upset that I've missed it because I've heard so many good things. So I hope you choose to do it next year, and I'll promise I'll be there. Happy birthday from last week and this week. So last week, George, Maria, Lori, and Elizabeth, happy birthday. God bless you. And then this week, Matt, Ella, John, God bless you. Please give them hugs and wish them happy birthday. Okay, two more announcements. I'll be on a retreat from October 2nd after liturgy. So Sunday after liturgy, I'm leaving for re Arch Parkio retreat with other priests. And I'll be there until Thursday. If there are any issues that you end up in a hospital, call me, but call um, hospital chaplain because I'll, it will take me about an hour and a half to get there. Depends where you are. So please call somebody who is closer, but please let me know what's going on. At the end of the day, you don't have permission to get sick or anything, so don't think otherwise. And another announcement, October 9th, we will have a guest speaker, and I hope I will attract you by me not preaching that day, but I hope that you will stay for Soup Social and uh, Father Deacon Ed, who you know because I talk about him a lot, he will talk about retreat that he or retreat that his experience from Romania and his experience from Romania is something that I try to apply at my churches so if you want to know more about my vision know with more about details of my vision come listen to him invite your friends because it's I've read his talk and I listened to his talk already and it's amazing that being said also, they can add hot from the press. He sent us another book, a counter. It's a second edition. And I said, as in the homily, there are a lot of fathers that he used here that 
you don't have to buy books. You don't have to buy 10, 20 books. You can just grab this one for free and learn from the fathers. Oh, my. Learn from the fathers and that they might put you on the right path towards Christ. So they are in the back. Please feel free to take one pair family. And if you have somebody who would, you would think he would enjoy them, well, you can give that to them. Since today we have a picnic and there is a social downstairs, we will do things a little bit differently. I, will, I won't meet you in the back of the church. I'll meet you downstairs. Let me, give me time to undress. And uh, I'll try not to make you wait too long for food. Can't promise anything. God bless you. Have a wonderful Sunday. To all parishioners of St. John Chrysostom, to all our visitors, to George, Maria, Lori, Elizabeth, Matt, Ella, John Paul, grant the Lord many and blessed years. I would also like to welcome Yev Graf for serving for the first time. So please give, tell him good job. He did wonderful. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. So I, you will come again? I will, I will show. Good. 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 God bless you. Protect us from all.